the day in the life of a EDC tech influencer person who just got a million subscribers. So let's check it out. But instead of showing you what I do, because honestly, it's pretty boring to keep it on fleek with the channel, I'll be sharing what I use during the day. So we're starting off with the morning. A cap is a must. My custom alpaca collab design is my go-to and usually combined with whatever sling I'm testing for the week. This time around, it's the Harbor London sling and packing in my essentials for the day. Gum is a must because I drink a lot of coffee and this one from Quip is like a Pez dispenser for gum. The sling is fairly slim, but surprisingly has quite a bit of organization, fitting my personal wallet of choice, the Frenchie speed key, simply because it means I no longer forget my keys as it's built right in. It's not perfect, but the soft leather has held up for almost a year, and a win is a win. Plus, there's plenty of slots inside to store it too. The second most important item I have to take with me anywhere outside, my sanitizer holder, if not only to get over my fear of public door handles. Lastly, my iPhone 14 Pro, wrapped in the newly released case to fi clear case. Still able to handle up to six feet drops and coming in even clearer than their Impact series, which is perfect for the minimalists thanks to those clear dotted edges too. And for this video, they challenged me to use it for two weeks and see how clear it actually stays through through all my daily abuse. However, when we get into the office, generally it means bringing in new gear or toys to test. So having a trusty tool on hand to unbox is super clutch. With our studio choice going to the tough built utility knife and scraper because it just feels like something from the future. And a huge shout out to my girlfriend who got this wicked neon sign to celebrate 1 million of you who know how to appreciate a good nose drawing when you see one. The majority of the day is spent at this battle station though and this tiny clock I found on Amazon is my productivity hack to anyone whose table looks like this. Basically, there's always something more interesting to do than work. But when working, the bright red dial is boss. And only when it moans does it mean that you can scroll through the same seven Instagram posts you saw an hour earlier. But let's be real. We tend to take an extended break anyways, so I keep a MagSafe pop socket connected to the clear case, so at least my fingers won't cramp up scrolling through all the thirst traps. Lastly, y'all know I have to keep something on my desk to keep my fingers distracted. This Lautier Carnival is a tiny roulette with a separate ball too, and it may be the only gambling addiction that won't break the bank. Sort of. Now while editing is important, we've got things to eat, people to see, and junk to buy. So our next stop is running errands during the day. The bag of choice lately has been the Attitude Supply ATD2. Not a cheap bag by any means, but quite possibly the last bag you'll ever need. The whole bag feels like it's built to take a beating, and once opened, you've got room to store all your feelings and then some. Combined with the straps to keep things tidy, exterior bottle pockets, and plenty of padding around back, you can load it up and forget you're even wearing one to begin with. Oh, and and obviously, I ain't going anywhere without my phone either. <laughs> You thought he was bad at voiceovers. Thankfully, we've got Case Divide covering our behinds. But around front, we have Chrome Industries and their cycling gloves. While not the best for Canadian winters, it's the perfect balance between function and warmth for me. It's padded and touchscreen compatible, which is a must. Plus, the blackout everything makes me feel like a total ninja. However, when heading outside, if it wasn't obvious already, I'm not a huge fan of being in loud noise, people screaming, and red trains. Thankfully, I'm sporting the Apple AirPods Pro 2, which is a game changer in noise cancellation. To sum it up, it really does shut the world up. But then, wha-bam! Transparency mode is the biggest alley-oop that Apple has ever given us. Anyways, today we're grabbing some props from the juice store for a video shoot, which fits snugly into the bag, tied down shut, so it's not clicking and clacking around either. And after checking off the to-do list and figuring out where to go next, we grab some lunch at our favorite burrito joint because they know what their customers want and they make a burrito that just slaps. Now, if you've ever used a clear case in your daily routine, you'll know just staring at it the wrong way will instantly yellow it. Case Defy's new clear case has UV Defender technology which blocks UV rays and prevents yellowing for a long lasting clarity. Casetify challenged us to do this food stain test to see how well their cases actually prevent yellowing using the cheapest coffee and reddest of wines because they definitely stain the worst. And trust me, when you see these results, you'll definitely be shocked too. Because after over 12 hours soaking in these jacuzzis, 
Wow. The coffee nearly obliterated the competition, with the case to pie case only showing slight yellowing around the buttons. The wine test wasn't as substantial, but when set side by side with a brand new case of each, you can easily see how well it withstands Canada's worst tasting coffee. So head to case to pie.com slash accessorize me and save 15% on one of the best clear cases, which leads us into the main event of the day, filming. The iPhone is an integral part in keeping us on track as I can quickly mount it with MagSafe and review our shot list and storyboard notes without having it get in the way of the shots. However, some other tools on set includes this screwdriver from Xiaomi. Now there are a million and one variations of these, but this one looks sleek, is made of an aluminum shell and pops out neatly offering 20 bits to choose from. Perfect to fix, take apart, and mainly save our forearms from having to do manual work like it's still the 1900s. The future is here my friends. And that goes for my Dustbuster 2. From Nightcore, this is definitely overkill, but does one thing very well, blow. And if you've watched my videos before, you know how messy things get. So this helps move all that dirt quickly and loudly straight onto the floor. Now, as much as I love a burrito, I do need to compensate with some physical activity too. So after work, I head to the gym with all my gear packed into a Bellroy Venture duffel, mainly for its water resistant exterior, sealed zippers, massive storage space inside for all the socks, several mesh organizational pockets for all my deodorants, padded handles for extra comfort, and even a separate sack is included inside as well. Perfect for my main pair of lifting shoes, the simplest version of Vans without the laces. But they say a flat base helps with stability and grip, but personally, I just like that I don't have to tie my shoes. Then the keyback retractable keychain clipped onto the outside, which makes getting in and out a breeze. You simply pull, beep, and you're in. Bada bing, bada boom. Then the real fun begins. And with the case to buy clear case, I can confidently toss my phone around without worrying about it either, which allows me to focus solely on the games. I use the heavy app to plan my workouts, but I mainly love that it shows my previous weights, so I know what to increase by for each movement. Then I tried to avoid using my phone otherwise and generally just drop it to the side when I finish noting my workout. And so, yeah. This case has high five several squat racks in the last two weeks. However, I highly recommend also recording yourself to make sure you don't break your back. This is the WL analysis app that helps you see straight lines, which is key for the big lifts. Then I go through the rest of my accessory workouts, boring stuff for the most part, just a lot of grunting, dirty floors, and mirror selfies to show off the gains. But before leaving, I always clean my case. And even after two weeks of alcohol baths, this clear case is still looking brand new. Finally, after a long fought week, whether it's hanging with your friends, watching a movie, date night, or even catching up with other creators over coffee, I take every chance I get to wear my speedy. And yeah, I'm that guy sporting a dumb and smart watch because we were given two arms for a reason. But in the pocket, I generally clip in the tool that I'm currently testing. This time around goes to the Urban EDC F5.5 in the all black. And while it is fun to fidget with continuously, it's probably not the friendliest. That's where my haptic fidget coin comes in from AC EDC. This one is just pure nostalgia. Plus it's super satisfying to fiddle with too, whether you're spinning it or just rolling it between your fingers. It's a solid piece of metal that you can count on to keep your fingers distracted. And lastly, the dispatch dog sling is my bag of choice lately so we can take the goodest of boys with us it offers plenty of padding magnetic clips and lined on the inside for some extra comfort so i'd say he sort of loves it let me know if you want to see more of this comment vlog down below if you do but that's it i rest my uh you're good the pay for the day is some fish snacks cut okay bye